Prima Media's Mining Weekly Online is talking to Corbus Lutz, the CEO of Pan African Resources. Corbus, this project that you are looking to progress, the Ilikulu project, it looks quite an exciting project and a project of some magnitude. It is a very material project for Pan African, Martin, and for also for the Evander operation. We are very excited about the outcome of the uh, pre-feasibility study and anxiously obviously awaiting the definitive which will be released to the market in November. As you've mentioned, it's a material project. It's, uh, it's probably 1.7 billion rands of capital, uh, but it'll do a million tons a month of tailings. Uh, at recovered uh, at a recovery of 45%, you are looking at 45 to 50,000 ounces of additional production from Evander. And the capital project is quite high, 1.7 billion rand. How do you propose to fund that? Well, we're looking at funding options uh, at the moment. As we've mentioned, we do have in principle credit approved term sheets for funding the whole project amount. As I've also mentioned, it's, it is a material number, but uh, it's no more material than what the BTRP was for Balberton or for Pan-African when we actually pushed the button on con starting construction of that project at Balberton. Um, and because of the economics, it's not the most difficult project to fund. And it looks like payback is, is quite quick. It's uh, three to four years. Uh, given our current modelling, um, and uh, and uh, again, that's very attractive. Are you working with any project house at the moment? Have you engaged anyone, or are you going to invite tenders for that? Well, we've engaged DRA to complete the definitive feasibility study, and after the study is complete, then we will make a call as to how we progress it. And then you've also got uh, an idea of when the first gold could come out of this, which also seems quite soon. Well, the nice thing about a project like this is it's not a massive or massively long lead time to production. From when we push the button, you're probably looking at about 18 to 24 months of, uh, f uh, of construction and commissioning, which means we could have our first gold from this plant before the end of the calendar year 2018. And what would the life of mine be of this sort of project? We have a very substantial uh, resource, tailings resource at Evander, uh, more than 200 million tonnes. So that translates for this project into a life of mine at present of about 14 years. And this looks like being about the second biggest project of this kind, the retreatment of gold and recycling of gold dumps. Sure, well DRD is doing 2 million tonnes uh, a month, uh, Anglo is uh, doing uh, tailings retreatment, Harmony is doing it, a number of others, but this will be a substantial project. And you've also got the 2010 pay shoot project at Evander as well. Could you elaborate on that? Sure. Well, uh, this is a pay channel uh, or body that runs parallel to the main uh, Kinross pay channel that we're currently mining at Evander. Uh, there's only one borehole that Harmony put down with very attractive grades. We are re-looking at the entire geology of the Evander Basin and trying to enhance our understanding of the ore bodies and the factors at play and we're putting down a borehole at the moment. I think the plus uh, of this project, if it is ultimately pursued, is that one wouldn't need a completely new uh, vertical shaft from surface. We could access this ore body from the ex existing seven shaft at Evander. And some of the great numbers sound quite attractive to me. They are. If you look at the Evander ore body, it's one of the highest grade uh, uh, underground ore bodies in South Africa and certainly it's very competitive from a global perspective. The big issue that we have at Avanda is that we don't have a separate waste handling system which means that we waste both waste and reef to surface and in doing so we obviously dilute that head grade to where we are at the moment just under six grams a tonne. And we used to hear a lot about Evanda South. Are you still going ahead with that project? Well Evanda South is an, uh, is, is, is an interesting project but in this sort of environment in terms of ranking projects this our sense certainly was that the likes of an Ilikulu, even though the capital is pretty significant. The paybacks are attractive. It's a low risk project. It'll be the fourth tailings plant that we've commissioned in the group. So, I mean, in terms of attractiveness, that certainly for us at the moment is the one to go for. And you were talking about, you know, the substantial opportunities in South Africa, but you also said you've been in West Africa and you mentioned that, you know, we, we should value our South African assets when you look around the world. What were you referring to there? Well, uh, simply that uh, I think uh, certainly challenging uh, South Africa is challenging to, uh, to operate in from a number of perspectives, but it's no more so than the rest of Africa in reality. Um, and, uh, and I think we must be fair, fair on our own country also from that, from that perspective. But you are still uh, looking at M&A and you are uh, looking at the opportunities, but they have to be accretive. They have to be earnings and value accretive in the short to medium term, and that's very important to us. That was Crema Media's Mining Weekly Online talking to Corbus Lutz, the CEO of Pan African Resources. 
which has just reported very profitable results.